Hello everyone, and welcome back to another edition of Indie Book Review, where today I am reviewing First Blood by David Morrell. And before we get into this, I'm going to go over a little bit of history that I have with the character of John Rambo, which, which, he doesn't really have a first name in the book, it's just Rambo. But is John Rambo in the movies? So, going with that. Um... I saw First Blood when I was a kid, loved it, thought that was pretty great, found out that there was a book, never read it, didn't think anything of it, uh, and it was actually fairly recently that I just decided, you know what, I want to read First Blood. I haven't done it before, and I've heard great things about it. I already knew how it ended, I already knew like a lot to do with First Blood, because a part of me way back was like, I'm not going to read First Blood. I've got so much other stuff going on. I just don't feel like reading, blah, blah, blah. Insert reasons not to read here. So, you know, I watched a few videos. And I watched, like, the What's the Difference and Lost in Adaptation versions of it. So I kind of had a bit of an idea as to what I was getting into. Or so I thought. Um, neither, neither video really did much of a good job in really getting into just how visceral this book can get. Whew. People die left and right in some not so nice ways. But at the same time, it's not really up to those videos to get into that sort of thing. They're doing in, you know, they're com doing a comparison from the book and the film. It's not a, you know. Anyway, let's talk about this book. This book, uh, it interchanges persona a perspective between both Rambo and Teasel, which is really neat because you definitely get to see more of Teasel's perspective and you get to see just how things started to escalate and how both of them knew that what was going on was not worth it, but their personal prides just did not allow them to, did not allow either of them to back down until it was way too late. Like... Rambo even has a chance about halfway through the book to just escape. There's no way Teasel could, could chase him. There's nothing, yeah, there, there's nothing Teasel could have done. Rambo could have easily gotten away. But he was so mad about the situation that he got put in that he continued to escalate things. Neither side is good. Neither side is, well, both sides are pretty bad. You just get a bit more of a human understanding of both sides. Rambo is definitely m more of the bad guy in this, though. You know, he's he's not a bad person at first. But continuing through the book, any shred of humanity that this character had just completely goes straight out the window. Like, it's not... It definitely does not hold any sort of humanity at all with this character. Where Teasel, he starts off... He's kind of just this grumpy police police chief. Like he's going through this divorce and the frustration that he's going through with this very much had an impact as to how much he pushed Rambo. And him going forward and you know forcing him to strip down for a cavity search which honestly was really unnecessary and then a haircut and a shave which you know he claimed everyone has to do it. I'm not personally buying it, but at the same time, it could also be true, but at the same time, the way that he likes to keep his town, and, you know, Rambo having long hair and a beard, I'm pretty sure I'm not really buying it. It's not confirmed one way or the other, other than, you know, taking Teasel's word for it, but still not buying it. So, Teasel kind of starts off as the bad guy, and it kind of... And the roles just kind of switch. Teasel's guilty of starting it, but Rambo is guilty of continuing forward with it. And then even Teasel later on in the book, like, well after that, he refuses to let go. He won't let other people just take over. He has to be a part of the show. He has to be a part of this. Some of it is because he's full, he fully believes, like, I, I started this. It started with us. It has to finish with us. And some of it is, I'm very sure is his own personal pride. And that's kind of a big thing with this book, is personal pride. And it kind of shows, you know, just how wrong things can go when people refuse to put their pride aside, or when they refuse to be pushed just that little bit further. 
and frankly, it's beautiful. It's absolutely well written, and it is done so, 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 so well. Or hell, even the amount of research that has to go into this book is just done beautifully so well. And if you happen to get a copy that has a bit of an introduction to it, that where Morel goes into just what went into the creation of this book and how the how the idea came to him, I would recommend it. I'd recommend reading it. I'd read it after you read the book, of course, because, you know, spoilers at the end. But at the same time, I definitely recommend reading that introduction because it is... It really enlightens just what he was going for. And when you find out what he was going for, you really get to see just how much he succeeded in it. Like, it is just beautiful in terms of what he was going for. And I'm not going to spoil any of that for you because, well, if you've seen the movie, you kind of have an, you kind of have an idea. If, you ha if you've read the book, you already know. If you haven't done either, then it could potentially spoil something for you. But for those who haven't read the book, let's get into just kind of the basis of the plot because I kind of talked a little bit about it here, but I haven't really gone into the plot like at all. So, Vietnam vet Rambo goes through this town and he gets picked up by the police chief. And the police chief seems kind of like a pretty nice guy, fairly reasonable, kind of understanding, takes Rambo out of town and drops him off, and then drives off. Rambo goes back into town, going, you know what, this happens everywhere, I'm not getting pushed anymore. Screw this, I'm going back. And he goes back into town, the chief finds him again, picks him up, takes him back out of town, comes back, and waits for Rambo. Rambo, being a fairly smart person, decides, no, I don't want to do the, no, I'm not going to, you know, just fall into his potential trap, and goes into town a different way. Teasel eventually finds him again, and picks him up and takes him to the police station, where he is then stripped, cavity searched, and given a little bit of a haircut and a potential shave. Uh, when he, when Rambo sees the straight razor, he has a PTSD flashback from the time when he was a POW, and proceeds to kill two cops. Well, the one might not be dead, but the one he guts with the straight razor is most definitely dead. He then takes off into the mountains, where a manhunt, ha where a, where a manhunt ensues, and for the first little while, Rambo is on the run until this massive rainstorm hits and then Rambo becomes the hunter and he starts he starts attacking Teal gets away the National Guard comes in so on and so forth not spoiling anything else this book is a wild ride all the way through and holy crap does it keep you keep you interested uh, if there's any real critique that I could possibly have of this is that it sometimes goes a little too deep into the into the explanations. There were a couple times where I just couldn't help but go, okay, get on with it. But it, it was very few and far between. And honestly, when that's my only real critique of the book, you know it's good. All in all, First Blood gets a 9.5 out of 10. And yeah, it deserves it. It definitely deserves its... It's a really good review. <sighs> but that's all I got for you guys. Uh, if you're interested in more stuff, be sure to take a look at my new channel. I have it down in the description. And yeah, have a good one.